good morning everyone and welcome back to another Pokhara video today we are going to try and get a taxi to the world peace pagoda i hear it is very famous here namaste uh lots of people have recommended for me while i'm in Pokhara to visit the world peace pagoda and also the shiva statue so i will try and make it to both today it's roughly around a 30 minute drive up the mountain and then i think after the peace pagoda you have to get another taxi to the shiva statue and there are taxis oh i'm about to get run over thank you for beeping um there are taxis right here let's see how much it is you a taxi yes beautiful world peace pagoda how much um just one way peace pagoda from the shiva temple uh just the peace pagoda peace pagoda yeah how much two thousand two thousand expensive Ex <laughs> too expensive uh one thousand no one thousand no, okay thank you fifteen hundred one thousand one thousand will you do one thousand yeah, yeah. you will do one thousand yeah. perfect thank you all right great one thousand i got um 15 minute taxis for around 500 so i thought if it's a 30 minutes times it by two Huh? and we should be good so that's nice 1000 let's go uh, no come back i'm just gonna go up and then maybe i go to shiva but i'm not sure so i will find a way to get there when i'm up there i just want to go there at the moment and then see what i want to do thank you i hear there's around 500 steps that i have to walk up to get to the world peace pagoda you know how much i love steps and i love hiking everyone that's been telling me to trek here i am doing a mini trek to the peace pagoda 500 to 600 steps uh the taxi will drop me at the bottom and then i've got to walk up to it i am a lot fitter than i was in my monkey temple video back then i was so sick for a week before i recorded it and I was just really, really struggling to get up. It's been a while, I'm much fitter now, so hopefully I don't struggle as much because it's doubled the amount of stairs. Check back in with you shortly. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Danya bad. <laughs> okay, everyone, we have made it. And the stairs we need to walk up are those ones. And there are all these little shops here. I was not expecting that, um, which will be nice. So if I need some food after my massive hike, there seems to be some clothes over there or scarves over there that they're selling. That looks like a restaurant. And then another restaurant here. It's a little whole town. Namaste. Namaste. All right, there's one thing I'm ready to do and it is take on these 500 stairs. So let's get into it straight away. I actually think that's the roof of it right there. I'm not sure if you can see, but I think that's the little gold thing that we'll be walking to, which from here, it doesn't seem that far, but the fact that the stairs go that way might be a little bit of a strenuous trek but let's just get into it oh amazing you got some little hats here maybe i'll look at getting a hat on the way down that's very beautiful i was not expecting this and it to be hello. full of people hello namaste, hello, namaste. Hey, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe and like. thank you This man is weaving something. Namaste. What are you doing weaving? You make this? Wow. You make these as well? You make as well, you carve. Wow. He's got little baskets here. Wow. Very good, very good, very beautiful. Very good, namaste. That was awesome so he's just hand making everything i was not expecting to be as entertained as i am 
walking up here with all these shops. I thought it was just going to be a really hard walking grind. There seems to be something up there. So I'm going to quickly do a detour and check it out. It is very overgrown here. Ooh, pretty butterfly. I'm not sure if this is one of the pagodas or not, or what this is. It's definitely some sort of temple, but it's not very taken care of with the state of these stairs and this bush. But let's get a closer look. It's all locked up at the moment. You've got the three tiers. And there seems to be some sort of bowls maybe they make tea or they eat in there i'm not sure maybe it became less popular than when the peace pagoda was made but i'll find out some more information and maybe put a voiceover over but that is really beautiful oh my gosh and there is another one over there i must find a local and figure out what these things are because there's another one here and here and they're identical Maybe we'll see many more on our journey up, but let's keep going. Namaste. Namaste. Do you know what that temple is called? That temple is uh, our uh, blaze, blaze god. Oh, okay. So you still walk up there and use? They are calling cool god, cool devta. Oh. Thank you so much for letting me know. So they are still get used. People go up there, not just yes. the Peace Pagoda. Uh, one year, one time, go there. Oh, once a year? One year, one time, there are uh, big festival. Oh. Uh, calling Puja. Puja? Uh, pray. Yep. Uh, one year, one time. Then that time is uh, uh, singing, all kind. Singing. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you so much for letting me know. Danyavad. Isn't that so fascinating? So they still get used, but they get used once a year for a festival. So that must be why there's decorations on there, but singing and dancing. That is so, so cool. And as you just saw, locals here are so lovely. There is the other one, just up there. But yeah, locals are so lovely. You can pretty much ask them anything. And they're so kind and they'll give you time, which I really, really appreciate. Some more restaurants. This looks like some sort of chili. Wow. Is that chili? It's spicy? It's spicy? And then you get chip and that? How much? Mm. What, what's your smallest portion? 50? Yeah, 50? 100? Okay. I try. Which, which is most, I try whatever you think. Fruit. Oh, that's fruit. Oh, and do you pair with that? You do together? Wow, okay, I will try, I will try. Yeah, 150, 100, okay. You pick, you pick. Mix. Yes, okay. Mix. Mix. Yeah. Wow, that looks so spicy. You can just see the little chili flakes in here. That is crazy. So this is fruit with chili. Oh, that ch yeah. Wow. Okay, you can get mix. Uh, mix. Yes, and or including this. I'm a mix. Yeah, mix. Thank you. Just an FYI, everyone. I cannot handle spice, so this is going to be very interesting. Having a little taste test here. But it just looks really unique and interesting, so I would love to try it. What is called? So this is fruit, and that is also fruit. fruit. Again? Fruitka. Fruitka. Mm. Okay. Libon. Libon? Ah, libonka. Oh, okay. Mm? Just little, little of everything, thank you. Spicy. Okay, I try, I try. Just little, 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 please. 100 perfect and then a little of this little of this um maybe 150 and i try one try try yes 
Thank you. And this is called? Name? Um, bon. Bon? Bon. Bon. It doesn't smell made, spicy. Made by sour plum. Made by sour plum? Yeah, yeah. And with chili on top, is that yeah, why yeah, it is yeah. red? Very spicy? Um, it can be for some. Okay, I have zero spice tolerance, so we try. Okay. Where are you from? Sydney, Australia. Oh, nice. Do you like it? I can say this the plum is so sweet. No, it's so, not too sour plum. Sour plum. Sour yeah, plum. Yeah. The spice is kind of hitting, but it is okay. It is okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys getting? What is your favorite thing? Do you have favorite? All. all, all. You like all? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that is yeah, That is very pleasant. That is very pleasant. I actually I was expecting to be unable to speak, but it is okay. It is okay. <laughs> You're traveling yourself? Yes. I have a friend in Pokhara. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing the Peace Pagoda by myself and filming self. Oh, cool. I actually really, really like that. That's very yes. nice. Uh -huh. It is very good. It's a good combination. It is the perfect combination. Oh, cool. Perfect heat. Yeah. Thank you. What's your channel called? Riley's World. Riley's World? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're so cool. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for explaining. Uh, how much is how much? 100. 100. Okay. Hmm. You can, that's tip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Have a great day. Uh, Danyabad. Danyabad. Have a great day. Okay, fruit. I think we're going to sit here and do a little bit of a fruit test because I want to try everything out. That first little spicy plum was amazing. I might just sit on these stairs and do a bit of a review before we keep walking. I am so pleasantly surprised and I'm so glad I stopped because I never would have tried the spice because it looked very, very intimidating. But that was delicious, that was beautiful. And I would order that again. So thank you to that stranger as well that was buying it. I saw how busy the shop was and look how many people are visiting it now. So she obviously makes really amazing stuff. And so far, so good. Let's try the other stuff. I'm very, very excited. I think one of them is spicy and the rest of them are just fruits. All right, you guys are set up. Let's try these delicious treats. First things first. Let's get my magical bag. So I have a water here just in case things are too spicy, I can survive. And also, I didn't do it before I ate the spicy thing, but I also have some hand sanitizer that I bought from a store here, just because you touch a lot of dirty things when you travel. So quickly sanitize my hands so I hopefully don't get sick. And let's get into the taste test. She was so lovely. Struggled a little bit to understand what I was saying, but was so, so lovely. And there are just people on people. There's about eight people at her stall now. She must be very, very popular here. All right, here we go. This is what the bag looks like. We have about five different kinds of things in here. So we shall try this thing first. And if you guys know what this is, please comment it down below because I tried to ask what each individual thing is. She helped in some ways, but it is all some sort of fruit, but if you can give me more clarity on it, please do. Here we go. Cheers. It smells just like my hand sanitizer because it's so strong, but... Oh my gosh, that is sour. <laughs> that is sour and salty. What fruit would that be? I have no idea, but that is very sour and very salty. I like it, but not as much as the chili. The chili had a really beautiful heat to it that I really, really enjoyed, and the soury sweetness of the plum. Now we're gonna try this stuff. Cheers. Mm. It has the texture of tree bark. I'm not gonna lie. But it's very salty, a little bit sour, not as sour as the last one. Or maybe this is a leaf. Maybe this is a type of leaf. But it is nice. I still prefer the chili one. This one gives me spicy vibes. So maybe it will have a bit of heat to it. Hopefully it's not too sour. And hopefully the texture is yummy. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> that is spicy. That is so spicy. Oh. 
Someone is laughing at me <laughs> walking by. Oh my gosh, I think I slobbered. That is so spicy. Wow. Much spicier than the other one. Oh my goodness. Whew. That is spicy, spicy, spicy. I like it. I like it a lot. It tastes like the first one I tried um, with chili all over it. So it kind of has that same texture of the first, not the one that I tried at the store, but the first one in the packet. It tastes a lot like this one, but just with a chili coating instead of a sour coating, which is really, really nice. But I was not expecting that heat to hit straight away. And it is quite pleasant now. It's like quite a, a nice heat. I'm really enjoying trying spice while I'm traveling because I feel like I'm getting better at coping with it as well. Uh, and it's becoming a lot more enjoyable. So preparing me for my India trip that I'll be doing soon. Cheers for the next spicy thing. This looks like the leaf tree bark thing before, same thing. It looks like that one, but just with a layer of spice coating instead. So let's try it and see what we think. It had a little bit of spice. She warned me this one was spice. Oh. There, it's coming now. It is coming now. It's hot. It's not super spicy where it's like awful. This is actually really pleasant. It reminds me of when you do a tequila shot, that kind of warmth within, like down the throat, that warmth. That's what this is giving me and maybe the combination of the both of them. But it's really pleasant. Like it's a nice calming warmth that I feel like would be really nice if you have a cold or something. It will just like warm it all up and it's really nice. So I actually really enjoy either the combination of both or this one quite a lot because it's not making me cry and super spicy where I can't speak. This is so pleasant and she did a really, really good job. I'm pretty sure there's absolutely everything in this pack up. I will be snacking on this throughout the day. That was really delicious. I'm glad I stopped. Might have a sip of water and then let's keep going to the Peace Pagoda. I'm not sure if the GoPro can see it, but right up there on the top of the hill, I had no idea that's where it was, but the Shiva statue, uh, the Hindu Shiva statue sits on top of that hill. So our Peace Pagoda is up there and we will continue our journey now. But if we have enough time, then I will head over to the Shiva statue as well and give you guys a tour because it is stunning. I have been staying on the lakeside a little bit throughout my journey here in Pokhara and you can see it from all the way down to the lake as well as the Peace Pagoda. And when we were on the river tour, the guy pointed out the Peace Pagoda and the Lord Shiva statue. So we will try and check them both out today. Let's keep going on our journey. I zipped up my bag. Oh, he has got the same treats as the lady down below. I just noticed that. Okay, hopefully I don't have dirt on my p the back of my pants from sitting down there, but onward and upward, my friends. Oh wow, there is more and more markets. Beautiful. Got some wind chimes. Got some beautiful necklaces. Sunnies. Wow, is that just not magic? You put 10 rupees in. You've got the Buddhas in here and this looks like a model of the World Peace Pagoda. It says TikTok, which is banned here now in Nepal. <laughs> no more TikTok, but it is funny that that says TikTok. And this is just stunning. So, so beautiful. Wow, so gorgeous. And you can see a little restaurant there where you can just look out on the view of the valley. So beautiful. Way to the Peace Pagoda, that way. Look at this magnificent view. You can see the beautiful snowy mountains just through the clouds. It has been a very, very cloudy day today, but I'm so, so happy to be seeing little bits of blue sky. So hopefully 
when we get to the top of the World Peace Pagoda. It is just breathtaking. I don't know what to expect. Here is the beautiful entrance. I think we must be really, really close. There says entrance donation box, World Peace Pagoda Committee. So I might chuck a hundred rupees in there when I'm on my way down. But you've got an espresso coffee place, photography and coffee, pizza, fresh juice, and all these beautiful little markets, which is so amazing. So I'm gonna go head up and let you know how it goes. Okay, so we've got, welcome to the Peace Pagoda sacred area. Thank you to accept the request. So no shouting, no smoking, no trash, and don't pick the flowers. So look at this amazing view. Because this is a holy place, I won't be speaking too loud. I might just take a few photos and B-roll up there and do a voice voiceover on top so I don't disrupt anyone's experience. This is the World Peace Pagoda and I come bearing fun facts for you all. The World Peace Pagoda was built under the guidance of a Buddhist monk from Japan. It's a shoes off and quiet zone, so be aware of that when you visit. Did you know that there are 80 Peace Pagodas in the world and Nepal has two of them? This Peace Pagoda was first built in 1973 and the other one is in Limbini, the birthplace of Buddha. The pagoda itself is 115 feet tall and 344 feet in diameter. The World Peace Pagoda is also known as the Shanti Stupa, which means Peace Pagoda. The White Pagoda has two tiers for tourists and religious visitors. The second tier that you see here displays four statues of the Buddha presented as souvenirs from different countries. Each statue represents important events related to the Buddha and were named according to where they took place. One of the highlights of being 1,100 metres high on top of this hill is of course the view of the Annapurna mountain range. It was just spectacular, such a gorgeous view of Pokhara. I did say it was a cloudy day as you can see, but it was just all around amazing. There is the Shiva statue where we will be going next. Okay guys, we just went and visited the Peace Pagoda. I didn't speak up there or do anything because there are signs saying silence. So we looked at it, I got a couple of photos that I'll splice in so you guys can see it. But it was so beautiful up there, the view was amazing, you could see the mountains so gorgeously and it was stunning, it was absolutely stunning and I hope that you loved learning about it as much as I have. Now we are on our walk down the mountain, down the 500 steps. Hopefully it's easier on the way down and we'll get a cab to the Shiva statue and go check that out. Need a bit of a hat because it's sunny and I do really like this style of hat. They are so cute. You have Nepal or just Pokhara? You have Nepal? Where? Can you show? You don't have Nepal ribbon? Okay. How much is this? What did you have? 250? Okay, I buy. It is super sunny. I need a hat and I love this little style. So let's get a hat and we can take it to the Shiva statue. Do you have change? Yeah. You have change? All I have is big note. You have change? Thank you. Danyabad. I probably should have tested that it fit my head first, but I can redo my ponytail. Does that look okay? I've just got to loosen things. Now I've got a hat. Fantastic. For 250, that's pretty good. Thank you. Danyabad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, guys. If this looks silly, I'm going to be very upset, but um, I think it looks super cute. I haven't seen myself in it. You're the first. You're my first reactions. I'll find a mirror somewhere where I can look at it, but look at it already. Shielding the sun, 
good vibes. And I'm glad I got to buy from one of those shops. 250, I was expecting them to charge me a lot more. Um, but this feels really nice. And I'll wear it for the rest of the video. Ooh, these sunnies are very nice. Do we also like these? Ooh, they have a little design on them. They are very nice. You have a mirror? Oh, here. Oh, I can see myself. That's so cute. Yeah, these sunglasses are very, very nice. Very nice. Ooh, fancy. I can try on in mirror. Okay, guys, let's... Gosh, hat and sunnies. Are these cute? I feel like these are super flattering. I don't know. I feel like you guys need to give me your opinion, but I like those. And I'll try on a couple of more styles. So they're good. I like this little thing there. They feel quite plasticky, but I don't mind that depending on the price. And I also like the brown. How is this style? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Oh, these ones are aimed for me. Nope. Too small. Thank you. Let's try this brown pair of the first ones. You like these ones better than the black? Brown? Brown? Okay, she's saying brown over the black. I do actually quite like this shape on my face. I struggle with sunglasses so much, but you have good options. You have very good options. Okay, I'll try those. Thank you. Another brown. They're not bad, they go with, I feel very yee-haw in this outfit. I'm, I actually quite like those ones. Let's see if there's any more that I wanna try on. You've got some Ray-Bans, which look cool on everyone except for me, and I'll show you why. Let's get them off. I just feel like they're too small. Do you guys get that vibe? I don't know. I've, everyone has these and they look so trendy and cool. And I just can't pull them off, in my opinion. Um, I am sweating. It is hot here. Here are all the other designs. Just beautiful. They're very like Kim Kardashian Insta baddie. Ooh. I feel like they may be too small. Let's check, let's check. Ooh. I feel like um, someone that critiques art in these. They're so chunky, but they're not, they're not bad. I think I'm still loving the brown. And the last look of all of them, they are gonna be way too small, like child sunnies. I think these are for five-year-olds. Um, very cute. I hope I've tried on all the pairs that you want me to try on. These feel like real metal. These feel heavy duty. These feel nice. But they also feel like a little bit, Oh, maybe not, maybe not for me. Okay. I think I have decided these ones. Oh. How much? Six fifty. Six fifty. Mm. This one five fifty. That's five fifty. Four fifty. Four fifty. Okay. Or two fifty. <laughs> oh, oh, they're two fifty. Okay, okay. They do feel um, a little bit plasticky, yeah. but I feel like six fifty is a good price. I will get out my wallet quickly. And I feel like they go with my brown hat as well. So 650 and a 250 hat. A ball one at the moment. I feel like I will wear these glasses all the time. You have 400 change? 400? Namaste. I don't need them wrapped up, it is okay. It is. I will just wear now. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. 100 tapkin. 100. Huh? 100 tapkin. 100. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I give you 100 and you'll give me 500 back. That makes sense. I wish girls had zip-up pockets so I could just wear my wallet in my pocket, but unfortunately, they're not made oh, very well. Thank you. Thank you so oh, much. <laughs> thank you so much. Your store is very beautiful. Oh. Right. I think... We are going to head to the Shiva statue now. I need to fix my ponytail because I need to lower it to wear this awesome hat. Do I look like a tourist? Probably. <laughs> All right, let's head off and get a taxi. I think they should be around 500 rupees to get to Shiva statue. Taxi to Shiva is around 500 rupees. 500 is good. That's a good price. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. 
She also has the polka hats in different colors as well. But I'm pretty happy with my brown. I feel like it goes with my sunnies, goes with my singlet underneath. We are almost down to the bottom and it has been much, and it has been much easier to get down than it has to get up, which is kind of a silly observation. Of course, it's going to be easier, but surprisingly easier. Enough to comment on. Down here is the way to go. Hello, namaste. Are you guys good? Having fun? Very nice. Oh, look at the little cat. I didn't. Hello. Hey, kitty. I. That was such a sneak attack. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Hello. Is this your cat or is it random cat? Yes. It's his cat. Your cat. <gasps> wow. It is very cute. What is its name? Kitty. Its name is Kitty. <laughs> Hello Kitty. And this is your shop? Yes. Very nice. Very nice. And you also sell drink? Yes. Very nice. I might get a Coke from you. Hello Kitty. Oh, it is so beautiful. How much is mini Coke? Coca-Cola. Okay. The small Coke? It is 60 rupees. My hotel charged me 100 rupees for it, so that is good. And I might just sit down and relax before we go to the Shiva statue. Oh, it is so cute. 60 rupees. 60 rupees, perfect. And this is your daughter as well? Yes. Very nice. Are you okay for them to be in video? Is that okay? It's okay. It is okay? Okay. I always want to check with kids just in case. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you can have for 100. Danyabad, thank you. All right, let's check out this store. And let's sit out on this chair with a beautiful view. Drink a little bit of Coca-Cola and just relax. That was so cute. I loved Kitty. How beautiful is the view? After a hike, we need a little bit of a sugar rush to keep us going. So cheers, everyone. That is so delicious. And exactly what I need. I love this size that they come with because I just like a little bit of a sugar rush. Um, and this is my perfect size drink. So I can have a little bit, feel a bit of a buzz, and then jump to the next place. And I've, of course, got my full water bottle here as well that I was using as we were walking up. What an amazing experience. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. I hope you approve of my new style because the video is going to keep going. And I think it looks fabulous very happy with all my purchases very happy with the decision to come and visit here hello 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 your, all the kids are around what's your speed name what is my youtube name yeah. riley's world um you want to be in the video yeah you can wave hello. <laughs> um where are you from uh, sydney australia australia yes yeah this one Hello. The kids are coming. We've got Kitty. What is your name? Sumit. Sumit? Yes. Sumit. 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 Yes. Very nice to meet you. What's your name? Riley. 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 Yes. Sumit, Riley, and do you know their name? Estella. Estella. That is beautiful. Very pretty yes. name. Yes. And are you siblings or are you friend? What? Is sister or friend? No, no, no. Sister. That's your sister, nice. Do you like living here? Is it nice living in the mountain? Yes. You sit in Nepal or you go? I go Kathmandu, Pokhara, and then I go to, oh, I don't know where it is, it's one hour out of Kathmandu. Have you only been to Pokhara? Yes. Only Pokhara? Nice. What you What's your YouTube channel name? When you will go? When will I leave? Um, I leave tomorrow from Pokhara. Today is the last day? Yeah, today is my last day. I will subscribe you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Goodbye, kitty. Goodbye, kitty. Goodbye, boys. Thanks for being in the video. Have a great day. And we are now off to the Shiva statue. Bye.
So cute. Thank you so much. You have beautiful shop. Your name? It's Riley. And your name? My Sophia. Sophia. Beautiful. She has Estella? Yes. Beautiful name. I Probably one of my favorite names I've ever heard. It is very gorgeous. Good choice. Bye, guys. All right. Let's go grab a taxi, everyone. That was so much fun. I was not expecting all the kids to come around and they were so cute and asking they're so polite and so well mannered and just so so adorable so i'm so glad that i got to meet them and let's get a taxi finally i've said this so many times but let's finally get a taxi to the shiva statue namaste, namaste. you can go to shiva statue yeah how much rupee one way one just one way yes 800 800 <laughs> um 500 500 not possible okay 700 500 is what i am gonna go for <laughs> okay 600 500 okay you will do 500 one way or two way just one way just one way yes 500 one way perfect thank you oh i lost my hat okay we've got it for 500 let's head to the shiva statue i can't wait so this is a Hindu Shiva statue and I will tell you some more information about it when we get up there but it is this big blue statue that is very very famous it's about a 15 minute drive from the World Peace Pagoda yeah around 15 minutes 500 rupees and I'll check back in with you shortly <laughs> statue that we're going to at the moment is actually the tallest Shiva statue in Nepal which is amazing so it sits around 51 feet and then it is 57 feet on top of the stupa which is just an incredible height it is big it is blue it is on a white dome I have not visited it in person yet I've seen photos and they look spectacular um, but yeah I'm really really excited to go there see more of it learn more about it it is situated at the top of the mountain. It is going to be so gorgeous. We are here. Beautiful. Wait, okay. Come oh. here, return back? Yes. Come back, return? Oh, um, if you stay, I want to go to Lakeside. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can take me back to Lakeside? Yeah. 1500? 1500 is no problem. 2000 rupees. I got here for 1500. Okay, thank you. Two thousand rupees totally. To get back to Lakeside, yeah, two thousand. Yeah. Okay. I can do two thousand. Two thousand is okay. Okay. We are almost here, but um, just going up the last little bit. Uh, I've agreed to 2,000 to take me back to Lakeside. It should be about 45 minutes. Um, but he will be waiting for me as I visit the Shiva statue. So I thought 2,000 is pretty reasonable. And it is nice to know that I've got a secure ride back uh, down the mountain. Okay. Here is okay? Uh, two minutes, just two minute walking. Two minute walking, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Here is 500. Oh. Okay, return back. Come back. Come back and then I pay. Okay. And 2,000. Yeah, yeah. 2,000. Oh, okay. That's okay. Thank you. Hello. Namaste. Yeah, namaste, 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 namaste. Namaste. What is your hat called? What is this called? Your hat? Your Nepali, Nepali cap. It, yeah. A toppy? That's what they're called. Toppy. Yes. I have seen them before. Toppy. Very nice. I like it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Is this your shop? This is pretty as well. YouTuber. YouTuber. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I will come back down with my taxi. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. So it is a two minute walk up. Let's go. I didn't need the sunnies and the cap. I want to take in the beauty of where I'm going without a filter on. So I've taken off my glasses. I hope just the hat by itself looks good enough. I took a photo in the cap and you can't actually see the pocker, I don't think. So it looks a little bit like a Mexican hat but I'm loving it and it's keeping my eyes, except for when I turn into the sun, covered. I'm very happy with my purchase. And also, 
the 2,000 back, he didn't get me to pay him the 500 rupees to go here. So it is inclusive, which is exactly what I thought. Why I said an extra 100, uh, 1,500. So I'm happy with that. And there is many shops here as well. Wow. Is that a sight to behold? Oh my goodness. That is stunning. And here is the beautiful view. We've got the lake and then that is one of the most grand statues I've ever seen in my life. That is gorgeous. And I'm really happy that we came and visited it instead of just heading back down to the mountain after the World Peace Pagoda, because that is amazing. So gorgeous. And let's get a closer look. So that is Shiva. And then over there, there are more statues. And Shiva is a Hindu God. So this is a Hindu temple. So all the Hindus will be here paying their respects. I cannot wait to get a closer look. So let's go there now and check it out. Wow. So Shiva. It has actually a tiger cloak going down here with a tiger head there and he's got a cobra snake on its shoulder just there with a beautiful triton a lot of people are up i don't know what it's going to be like up there if it's going to be silent again so i'm just talking while i'm down here that seems to be a lot of rooms and stuff so i think people can stay here as well which is awesome these are the toilets let's keep going up let's keep checking it out Wow. You have a moving seat that is going around. And there is the tiger that is sitting in his lap and the cobra on his shoulder and he has oh my gosh the cobra is actually around his neck this is incredible take off your shoes at the entry uh, before going up close to the statue i'm going to walk around the perimeter but there are so many people here and it is so beautiful you have all of these I'm running around the bottom and there's actually nothing inside the stupa. So if you're wondering what is inside the white dome, there is actually just empty space in there. Wow. This must be some sort of just mallet, which is so beautiful. Here is this god circling around here, just slowly but surely moving around the statue. Just beautiful. And over there you get an even better view of these statues pointing towards Shiva. I think it is called Dream City. And you have the five lions under this woman. One of them's on a peacock and there is a hot air balloon as well. I will take off my shoes and let's, let's head up and have a look a little bit closer. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is so beautiful. I will show you inside the stupa now. As you can see, oh, it has a few statues lining the walls. Actually, it has a few statues inside it, but the rest of it is is bare. And just the size of this thing is incredible. It is very, very amazing.
there is the Peace Pagoda over there. We were just there. And now we are here with this huge, beautiful statue and we are immersed in, and side by side with the Hindus. So beautiful, so amazing, and so much higher than the World Peace Pagoda. It is crazy how much of the city you see from here. We will get our last view of it and head back down. That was so beautiful. This statue is amazing. Actually, I wanted to see the, the little thing go around the track, so I might actually just wait for her to come by and maybe walk this way and wait for her because I did want to see how it runs and it should be coming around soon. There it comes now, just around the Shiva statue. That is very amazing. What a beautiful sight to see and what a beautiful statue of Lord Shiva. You do? Actually, I don't want to get into so many people's photos. It is so, such a sight to behold here. And I've really loved coming to visit it. So I'm going to go get my shoes and head back to the taxi and head back to Pokhara. And as I leave Lord Shiva's statue, I'm going to actually wrap up the video here. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, look at this cow. I hope you loved it as much as I did and I hope you learned as much as I did by visiting these two beautiful, beautiful temples and statues. Catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I'm going to go get my taxi back to Pokhara Lake and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for being a part of it. As always, Riley out.